So we've got this post. It was put on three days ago as someone who controversially loves pay to win games, not, not the pay to win side, but I love any game that is pay to win. I seem to like, I love black desert. I love lost Ark. I don't know. I don't like the pay to win side of it, but I just like the games. I don't know. I'm a sucker for, I'm a sucker for the Easton games as well. I don't know. My BDO experience have no pity. Okay. Okay. I'm prepared for the down votes, but if this post helps a single person, I'll be satisfied. I hope mods will be understanding of what I'm going to discuss. Black Desert Online is pay to win. Agreed. Agreed. I, I have bought things in Black Desert. Uh, I'll admit my goodness, I've spent upwards of a thousand pounds on pearls. I'm not wealthy. I have a problem. The return drops off quickly, which is why the biggest whales don't buy pearls. They buy boosting. The ROI on boosting is far better than buying pearls. What's pearls? Pearls is like the in-game uh, currency. So pearls is like um, the things that you buy the online store. <clears throat> I've probably spent like a hundred pound on BDO, to be honest, over the whole time I've ever played it. Boosting, you pay someone to play your account for you and reap the benefits. There are no real benefits. You end up caught in a loop. You end up playing the game very little. Instead, you end up focusing on the grinder, often called pilots. You're focusing on how much they're grinding for you at the end of each session. Then you log in the next day, sort out your storage. You do your farm run. You do a T9 or T10, log in for Vel or Garma, they're the world bosses buy as many caves as you can and learn not to buy them with the phone out while the pilot is working. You need to keep track of the 250 you spent on the boosting. 250 pounds on boosting. Like, this is crazy. At the end of the day, you don't actually play the game. You maintain an account that someone else on the other side of the world is playing. You just fight with twisted rationality. You're providing for a human being elsewhere in the world. Maybe you're feeding a family. You build a relationship with your pilot. They tailor their service to you because you're their employer. I'm bipolar, so you don't understand that I believe I'm indulging. My biggest issue is I'm facing a Hypomanic or extremely depressive episode is irrational spending. It's an itch. It chews away at your psyche. The only way I can relieve the feeling is spending money. It's an instant dopamine. Jesus. Ultimately, you earn nothing. You have nothing. You're taking payday loans. You can't afford rent. You've dug yourself into the fallacy of sunk cost. You might be able to stop yourself. You might end up hating yourself because you sure might have 700 gear score, but you don't even know how to play your own class effectively because you end up staying in Heidel. I'm 25 years old and this has been an issue since I was 11 years old. I've learned a few code measures. I'm a professional mental health support. I apologize for the lack of dialogue. I made 39,000 last year and spent 7,000 on BDO. Like, I just wanted to go through this because it is absolutely crazy. It is insane. I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't, like, like, you hear of boosting services, but normally, like, when I think of boosting, yeah, 7K in a year. When I think of boosting, I think of, like, uh, I'll get your character. You can see them. There's like these, these websites that do it. And there's, 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 there's websites for Final Fantasy. I've even had people approach me to sell that service, uh, like trying to give me money to, to sponsor that service and be like, promote them. And they like, oh, we, um, we'll get your character to end game for so much money. We'll get you through, um, we'll get you through the raid for money. Uh, all these things boosting you in the game and you pay them. But I never heard of this where you literally pay somebody and they, they'll just go on and just grind mobs and just grind your account, which is really, really strange. They probably don't even grind themselves. These third party bots are running around while they watch YouTube. Yeah, I don't really get it. I don't like if you've played BDO, the grinding is literally just going around in a circle. Like you just, you just pick a group of mobs and you go around in a circle and make money and level your character. So like it, it could be bottable. Surely it'd be more like beneficial for people like this to just buy a bot. Like I don't condone that, but I mean, surely you just buy a bot, right? Hope OP never discovers a certain mobile game genre. <laughs> yeah. Pay to win games are such like a, um, pay to win games are such a rabbit hole because where do you, where do you stop? Like where do you, where do you, where do you, like take Lost Ark. I've been playing a lot of Lost Ark. And say you, um, say you're like 1400 gear score in Lost Ark. You can grind the, the daily grinds every day. And then when you get to the end of that day, that's it. That's all you can grind in a day and you can work out. Okay. So to upgrade this piece of gear, that, that's three weeks of grinding that I could pay 10 pounds and get it done today. And then like, but you do that. And then the next grind is going to take you five weeks. So, but you could skip that for like 15 pounds, but then it, you get to a point where it's like, what are you, what are you paying for? Like, 
you're just paying to not play the game. And it's like, you get to end game and what, quit? I think that's what this guy's issue was. Guy or guy or gal or whatever. They identify as. So yeah, uh, this, this feels crazy. They're not exactly like super rich. Earned 39,000 and spent 7,000 on BDO just paying someone else to play their character. Absolutely cracked. Because the end game is just grinding mobs. Like that's what they're saying. All they do is stay, stand in idle. Like the end game is just... The end game is just grinding mobs. Like you do your life skills and you, and you grind mobs. So, so if you're paying someone to grind the mobs, you just log on and go, Hey, look how strong I am and just never play the game. So weird when the grind is the game while you're paying not to play it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's bizarre. I totally get why people would fall into the loophole. But that's different. Final Fantasy, there is no end. There is no grind at the end. You're just done. But games like this, you could, you could grind all day. Like you could, you could literally grind on like BDO, Lost Ark, those sort of games all day. So in some way, buying Keystone Master on WoW. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do it. Pay to win. Pay to win bad. Pay to win games. Pretty good. 